<clears throat> Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your February 2021 mid-month tarot reading. This is for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday, then again Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days. You could check a different part of your chart. You could even watch an older reading. The readings are sacred divination. They're timeless, okay? So um, I've had some inquiries lately about personal readings, and I don't offer them right now just due to my schedule. But if that ever changes, I'll make an announcement on the channel and let you know. So if you haven't subscribed, love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. Then you'll know when announcements are made. And to all of you who have subscribed already, thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate every single one of you. So let's get the advice for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Okay. All right, we begin here with the tarot, then we'll use the Angel Answers Oracle cards too. You've got the Knight of Cups as your current situation with the Ace of Wands as the immediate influence. Your Destiny card is the Queen of Cups. In the distant past, you have the Six of Cups. The more recent past, you have the Devil. You have the Six of Pentacles. This is an interesting balance, these two sixes here coming towards you. Now, you're represented here by the Three of Swords. The person or situation around you is the star. You've got the tower and your hopes and fears, the King of Cups and the outcome, which I really like. Now, the bottom of the deck, your clarifiers, they're telling you, don't stop. It's time to take a new a leap of faith on a new beginning. Um, so as before we get into this too far, let me tell you who's here. You've got Capricorn, Aquarius, Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of water here. It's like there's a very emotional energy here. You do have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you do have Earth and Air too. But I feel like if you have been hurt in the past, and you're, you're in a kind of a guarded state, you know, there's something about this where they're saying it's okay to love again, it's okay to be open again. Um, you know, the Seven of Wands is in alignment, okay? So even though there's strife there, it's about knowing and finding the solutions immediately. Being in alignment, you have all the right people show up, the best timing, and you're able to overcome anything. And of course, the Fool, you know, he has this wonderful naivete. The fool has this innocent, trusting innocence. It's like live like you've never been hurt before, right? You know, sort of that dance like no one's watching. They're just trying to tell you it's okay and to move forward because you get what you expect. So if you move forward, you know, it, with fear, you'll get a situation that creates more fear. So I really do like this um, reading. I like it too that you have the king and queen of cups and not only the outcome but the destiny so you've definitely got a relationship here that is warm and loving and generous and it's important so we'll get to these two in a minute but I do want to make sure that we're just showing them together briefly so you have somebody here who's manifesting you or it could be vice versa that if you especially if you've had some negative relationships wanting someone different and they're coming the knight of cups is a kind of a daydreamer by nature but it's also about visualizing and seeing yourself in that first person reality so not there's different schools of thought but there's definitely um you know from what i've seen evidence that through your first person eyes bringing in all the tones of reality this is more the neville goddard way it's important because otherwise, if you're just seeing it like a movie, it can manifest for someone else. Um, but there's plenty of abundance in the universe. I mean, there's billions of people. So don't be scared that somebody else is going to get taken or robbed from you. With this Knight of Cups, there's good intentions here. Now, of course, the Ace of Wands is a new passion. It's a new chapter. And so if you, especially if you've been single for a while or you've been... Um, I'm just looking at the cards a minute because I do see some reconciliation here. You've been wondering about that. Are they coming back? The answer is yes, okay? It is an apology coming. And so, you know, being aware that there's still a connection here. It hasn't, the connection didn't die. 
but I do feel like there was a pattern, kind of a nasty pattern that got going in the middle of this that was not good. Um, so, you know, with this, again, there's love here. There's a new beginning, a new passion. And it's like waving your magic wand and allowing things to come in. Allow The art of allowing is what um, Abraham Hicks used to, wanted to call, I think, asking is given and, the, and really the whole process, but they were afraid, um, I think, of some of the misunderstanding. So in your destiny, you've got a very warm, loving energy. You've got a heart that wants to give. And it's a, you know, it's a, a indicator that there's supposed to be loving relationships around you. So if you've had challenges in the past, let them be brief and, and allow your whole heart to be available. This is also a card of intuition too. So if you're someone that has had experiences in the past where you felt like you knew something was going to happen and you didn't know what to do, your intuition was your guide. So allow it to take you that next step and show you where do I go next? Show me what to do. Because sometimes we do that, right? It feels like a freight train. Like, I know this is going to happen. Now what? So you've got the Six of Cups in the distant past. And this may, like I said, have been somebody who's trying to come back around. Um, there's an innocence here, though. There's an innocence of love, a reciprocity, and trying to do good things for each other. But I wonder with this, if there was some mistrust on the attempts, okay? Now, for some of you, if it's not reconciliation, this also can be just ha a nod to happier times. It's fond memories. It's nostalgic kind of energy. So it may have been pandemic related for some where you were feeling like you were getting into a groove and then all of a sudden it just felt like everything was ripped away from you. And it's like, what the hell? I thought things were going and now this? And so for some of you, it was that feeling of really feeling at home. And um, the more recent past, we've got the devil here. <clears throat> Capricorn energy. You know, this can be a lot of obsessive thinking. And it can be, like I said, I think earlier, a pattern that needs to shift. You know, there's this um, limitation here. And it's a self-imposed limitation. But the darkness and that you see in this card, I wish the lovers was here. Because whenever we see these dark backdrops, the tower has it too, which... Interestingly enough, the tower comes right after the devil in the order. So the restricted energy of the devil gets blown away by the tower. But that dark backdrop or background is the shadow aspect of life, okay? It's it's like almost the opposite of the lovers where it's very similarly laid out card. But the lovers are those positive uplifting choices. And this is sort of that choice to stay stuck. But the shadow is your greatest guide into the light. So... You've paid the price of contrast here, and it's time to break free of this. It may have also been, too, a relationship that was very one-sided in some ways, very codependent kind of a thing where you're taking care of somebody. Um, maybe it was financially, emotionally, and it could be vice versa, okay? If you're saying, no, that was me. I didn't have some bills in order, and they were paying for things and getting pissed off about it, you know, that kind of energy. Um and, and it's time to let go of this, though, and bring in balance. So, again, if it's, not, if it's not a reconciliation, it also could be a new relationship, but it's letting go of these toxic patterns and letting go of whoever this was. Because um, it, it really is about, this card also embodies not living up to your full potential. So that love that you have in your heart doesn't get expressed in this energy. Not in the way that it can be. Not in that full, rich way. And that's part of why it doesn't feel good. Because who you really are is being stifled when you're in that kind of energy. So the Six of Pentacles shows up to bring in balance. It's very reciprocal. Again, though, there is a little bit of an element of one person having more here. So that may be a recurring theme, especially if you know you've got some kind of issue. You're still trying to work out if it's finances or something like that. But those things are probably the easiest. I mean, money is really easy to manifest. Because I think that we don't see it as much of the free will coming into play as trying to manifest a relationship with another person who has free will. So with this, though, you're get, definitely getting your balance here and feeling a lot better, not restricted at all. So I mentioned you've been hurt before, but with the Three of Swords, it does have acceptance over the sadness, over if there was bitterness or some kind of betrayal here. 
or even for some of you, if you felt like you were in a relationship with someone who was not at your level, I'll just be honest, and, and maybe they broke things off, I get that. Um, and it's like, wait, how could they? Like, they're not, you know, and that kind of a feeling. Um, but I do feel like at some point you were hurt and wounded, but it's learning from it. It's beginning the healing from this. And you're on the right track. And so you've got whoever you're attracting or the situation, they could be an Aquarius. But <clears throat> what a but wonderful healing energy. And I feel like it could be a relationship that really kind of renews your faith. It renews your faith in love and relationships and in human beings too. Um, especially if you got double crossed by that devil. Um, I don't know if you ever watch Below Deck, but... Um, Captain Lee always says, sometimes the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. I don't, I don't know why that makes me chuckle. But anyway, back to the reading. Um, in this case, you're not going to meet a devil. You're going to meet somebody that's more like an angel. Um, but with this, it's healing. It's recovery. It's an openness, a transparency. But it's also a connection to source energy. And it's it's through meditation. It's through spiritual practices. So in terms of yourself, it's really about you getting into alignment with your source energy and then there they are. Because when you're still in pain, you're just going to attract another devil. So if it's an, a reconciliation, it's about healing that energy so that you're not going to be back with that same old devil. You got somebody new, right? It feels like a new relationship and it feels like freedom. So the tower shows up. It's a corporate raider. Okay, we like this with the devil because it blows the damn thing off. It blows it to smithereens. And it's about bringing in new energy. The tower never will hurt you. It really is about, it, it, the pain is in proportion to your ego attachment to something. To really be honest with this, if your ego is not attached to it and you can see that it's for a good reason and it's for your highest good, it'll hurt a lot less. But I too will say I never let go of anything without leaving claw marks. But in this case, it's let go or be dragged because if you don't let go of it, it's going anyway and you're going to get dragged behind it. So let go of this energy, allow it to happen because in the end, you've got all the feels here with the King of Cups. It's really a profoundly deep love that you're, you're walking right into and it's recovery, it's forgiveness where that needs to happen. But it's also a vulnerability. It's the ability to be transparent with emotions, to be loving. And it's also a card of self-development. So again, for some of you, this meditation practice, spirituality, really getting in sync with your who you really are, that awareness piece, you'll never look back. You will be on this path that's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful awakening. And everywhere around you, there's new opportunities, new growth, and and there's this vibrancy that you emanate that attracts the match. So with this, it's really a lovely reading. And, it, you know, I like the realistic elements that it shows some restricted energy with that energy that comes in and takes over, you know, and allows you to, because your heart whispers the truth. And so if you're going through the motions and you're not really happy, it'll be changed. It has to be because you're manifesting it, whether you acknowledge it or not. But I think most people can relate to that when we manifest something that we, in our minds, say, oh my God, I, I didn't really want it like this, but the universe just heard your heart. And so that's what you received. So let's get a timeline here for Sagittarius. You've got compromise. So I do feel like this could be for reconciliation people. And it doesn't mean that you put up with low level behaviors, but it may be about hearing somebody out, hearing their full side of things, because we can become great historians in our wounds. And, and sometimes it's not always re, um, realistic. You've got to communicate clearly. And I, I always feel like this goes back to being deliberate about your thoughts and feelings, being intentional, but allowing them to be in harmony because otherwise you get a very, you'll get a mix of things, some of what you want and some of what you don't. I haven't had this one in a long time. Let go. I said, let go or be dragged. So whatever that is, you got to let go of it because there's something new and better coming in for you. You've got perfect timing. So I mentioned before, all the right people show up. You timing's perfect. These things happen for a reason. When these sort of synchronicities show up in a reading, there's strong 
There's a strong desire here. You've got a yes. So you can have do or be anything. And there's definitely love here. There's a change and there's an energy shift, but it's bringing in more for you. So I love you, Sagittarius, and I'll be back again soon.